Hey guys, Dot Dot coming here today. I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this in Affinity Photo. So it's actually pretty simple. It takes like three minutes or less if you're even better. So yeah, first um, you, let's make a new file. So we go to File and then New. Then just press OK. Doesn't matter. So once we have that, you go down to the Text tool and you make like a pretty big sized text and then you just type in anything you want I'll type in text you can type in anything and then you change the font I use a really good font called like Harvest Digital I think I'm not really sure but I'll have a link down below I really like it because it's like bold and modern and bold fonts work better so yeah and you just position it to whatever you want I think maybe that's good enough for now we press file and then open to open an image and then I'm gonna open the city image I have so I'm gonna go into the the um, pointer the move tool and I'm gonna command C to copy and then command V in here I'm gonna like position it and everything make it smaller position it right above and then what I'm gonna do is really important you go over here to the right panel and you bring the background down into here and then that works but if you do it differently like if you do the text into the background it doesn't work if you do the background like that it doesn't work background like that that's the only way to make it work so once you do that you then you can like position the background by going pressing the arrow here and then pressing the background and I'm just moving it however you want so I'm gonna have it maybe like that so yeah you position it to what you want also I forgot to tell you that command Z mean like it's the back tool so you could go back by pressing command Z okay so now time to make it cooler press FX the FX button down the right hand side once you press it you go to outer glow you select it oh wait it's a mistake I make a lot you gotta make sure to to like select the text and then you go to effects then outer glow and you change the color to anything I'll change it to like blue and then you change the radius up so I'll make the radius about like that maybe you change the intensity I'm gonna make it pretty low like that okay that's good for me now we go to inner glow we select it we make it any color we want I'm gonna make it like reddish like I did in the beginning and then we just bring the radius up and then it'll do that and then we can bring the intensity up make it more intense less intense I like it very narrow so you can barely see it but it illuminates it so yeah you can also play with all of these other effects and when you're done you just press close and here's your text to export it all you gotta do is press file oh wait no 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 I forgot one thing if you want you can actually um highlight the text press convert to curves and then you could select every different one to bring it anywhere so I'm gonna press command C to go back and I'm gonna like arrow it move it away from each other a little maybe like make it look a little better so yeah I'm just holding down the arrows right now the left arrow to move it to the left the right arrow to move it to the right and etc I mean not etc because there isn't anymore but yeah so I just positioned it until I liked it and then here you could highlight the whole thing and then position it more and you could tweak it until you like it and then when you're done with that you could press file then you press export and then you would press JPEG and then you would save it so once you do that that you get the image and then you could do anything you want with the image you can make a logo with it anything so if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends for more, and peace out.